I need to confess to you, I find you a wonderful congregation. Your joy is contagious. And as I hear the sound of joy over there, it lifts up my spirit. You know, normally, coming to the meeting, I feel like preaching. But as I get here, and I see your excitement, I feel more and more and more like preaching and praying. And tonight, mountains in your life will move away. Because we have a God who is greater, who is better, who is higher, who is stronger than your enemy. Tonight, victory in your soul. Victory for your family. Victory everywhere in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you tonight and bless your name. We are asking, O oh Lord, tonight, every mountain will move away in Jesus' name. Let the joy turn to miracle. Let the excitement turn to healing. And let your power come in every life, be manifested in every life, unrestricted, unlimited, unhindered, uninterrupted, in Jesus' name. Make the miracle come. The salvation come. The healing come. And I pray your people will rise up. They'll move ahead having dominion. And everyone will be unstoppable in Jesus' name. Well, thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you. Sit down in the blessing of the Lord. We're still talking about dominion. Because this whole week, this whole crusade, the global crusade this time, is on dominion, complete dominion. And tonight, I'm talking on personal faith for present and perpetual dominion. Present dominion that you will have tonight over everything that comes against your life and then perpetual and permanent and perfect that you carry the dominion back home all those things you see that bothered you bothered your mind bothered your heart because of look at my condition don't worry tonight everything will vanish away we're talking on personal faith the faith you have Whatever happens to other people, whatever does not happen to other people, personal faith for present and perpetual dominion. We're coming to Matthew chapter 17, verse 19. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? Well, one side, you might see the failure of the disciples. And I see their sincerity. I see their honesty. I see their inquiring mind. They had had a challenge. And that challenge was brought to them by the father of the one that has an only child, that has a terrible, deadly, murderous, epileptic spirit. And they tried to cast him out. And they could not. And they said, why? We should be asking the question, why, in our lives. Look at this challenge. It's been there for a long time. Why? Look at this direction. I've been going and it's a way of destruction. But why? Look at this, my powerlessness and hopelessness. Why? Look at unanswered prayer. Why? Look at what I suffer personally and in my family. Why? When you ask the question, why? Then an answer will come. But if you embrace your problem, cover your problem, hide your problem, and you are walking about as safe, there is nothing, and you are covering fire over you. Without asking why, how do you get solution? They asked, they said, why 
could we not? Are there not some notes in your life? Think about this, you could not. Think about that, you could not. Think about that, you could not. And the notes in our lives are the things that hinder us from getting to the point and the peak and the purpose of our creation. Look at your life today. And the Lord wants to get you out of that why and out of the knots. The knots. You see knots in our lives. Not able. Not active. Not healthy. Not powerful. Not happy. Not joyful. Not fulfilled. All those knots in our lives. They are the things that hinder us from having a fulfilled life. And I'm talking to those who are just coming for the first time. You have not known what we are talking about, dominion. It's because of the knots, knots, knots. The Lord will set you late tonight. In your life, the Lord will set you late. If you have ever asked any question, why, why, why? The answer has now come. And if you have had some concern, not, 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 solution has now come. And now as they ask the question, look at verse 20. Verse 20 says, Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, hold on. As we ask the question in our lives, and many times we put our problems on Mr. So and So, Madam So and So, Senator So and So, Politician So and So. We put our problems on Grandma So and So, Grandpa So and So. We put our problems on uh, that spirit, territorial spirit. We put our problems on our forefathers but jesus said they are not your problem because of your unbelief why can't somebody live straight because of unbelief why can't somebody be strong and walk in the way in the way of the lord without any restriction because of your unbelief why is evil spirit demon having a high time undisturbed demons being whatever they want to do in somebody's life because of unbelief why do we talk about incurable disease that disease is there that sickness is there and is prevalent overcoming you and stops you and you cannot think about any other good thing to do the sickness determines where you go and what you do and what you cannot do it says because of your unbelief. Why do we have nights of sorrow, nights of suffering, nights of weeping? Because of your unbelief. Why are we in church? Even though we go to church and go to church and go to church, a lot of problems, they are not solved. Why? Because of your unbelief. Why do we go to the hospital? We almost become a regular patient there. They know we don't need cards anymore. They already have our cards, our cards, our cards. And they are, they, are, they are kind of tired of giving us cards because they know us. They know our history. They know our case. Why? Because of your unbelief. Tonight, it will turn around. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain. Tonight, I came to talk to your mountain. Enough is enough. I said enough is enough. Maybe you have tried, you pushed, you dragged, you fasted, you prayed, you wondered why, and the thing is just there. That's why I came tonight. Mountains will move. In your life, in your family, everywhere, online, everywhere, get ready tonight. Mountains will move in Jesus' name. 
if he have failed as a grain of mustard seed he shall say unto this mountain there are people they speak to that mountain which nobody can tell whether it's there or not there are people that speak to imaginary mountains far away mountains a mountain we cannot even discover whether it was there or not but tonight no imaginary mountain this mountain this mountain i can't tell my people this mountain in your life will have to move tonight mountain of sickness it has to move tonight the mountain of uh, sin it has to move tonight and the mountain of satanic affliction it has to move tonight it will move in jesus name that if thou shalt say unto this mountain remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you you know we've read that many times i'm sure if you've been going to church if you have been hearing you know bible read your have it and uh, there shall nothing be impossible unto you but you know we always think of the you out there but now we're going to make it personal and nothing shall be impossible unto me and nothing shall be impossible unto me say that again why do we have unfinished projects in our lives we started we couldn't continue we began we didn't proceed why do we have unrealized dreams in our lives because we said for me that's impossible for me that's impossible for me that's impossible that's why we start and we cannot continue but then uh, the lord is saying if you will take what the lord is saying tonight all those unfinished projects in your life you resume them again yeah. you begin them again and you are going to fulfill you're going to accomplish in jesus name and nothing shall be impossible unto tell me the people that come to meetings like this and all they are waiting for is pastor speak to them those sinners give it to them and then make an altar call they don't think they have anything to get anything to gain anything to profit talk to them yes i'm going to talk to them but you in particular I came to talk to you tonight that in your life your life will turn around the power of heaven will come upon your life and no matter at what age you might be that unfulfilled unrealized unfinished project tonight you are going to begin in your life and nothing shall be impossible until you look at mark chapter 9 look at verse 22 the latter part of verse 22 if thou canst do anything have compassion on us and help us the man was helpless the man was hopeless and the man felt he had come to the end of his journey he had a problem on his hand a problem in his home the problem of this child and the problem was there and he's done everything he could humanly do now when you have done everything you can humanly do and the solution has not come switch off uh, switch around and now do what you can divinely you. let God take over the Lord will take over your life today and as the Lord takes over your life today I'm telling you all things are now possible yeah. look at verse 23 there verse 23 there Jesus said 
You know, I'm always interested at what Jesus said. If it says Moses said, I said, that's good, that's good. Joshua said, I think that's good. David said, I think that's good. Isaiah said, I think that's good. But when Jesus, the only begotten Son of God, when Jesus, the one that created and opposed the whole universe, when Jesus says something, something good is about to happen in your life and jesus said unto him if thou canst believe that means if you can only believe all things are possible how many things all things are possible i said how many things in your private life, in your personal life, in your family life, in your professional life, in your community life, anywhere you find yourself, all things are possible to him that believeth. As you believe tonight, I want to tell you, salvation is coming your way. Healing is coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. Because if you can only believe, if you will only believe all things are possible to him that believeth personal faith for present and perpetual dominion three things we're looking at number one the power of grain like faith for prevailing dominion the power of faith like a grain of mustard seed the power of grain like faith for prevailing dominion number two the prayer with great faith for present dominion number three the possibilities of god giving faith for peculiar dominion that's what you have tonight dominion i said that's what you have tonight from the top of your head to the tip of your toe to your heart to your spirit to your body dominion tonight in jesus name number one the power of grain like faith for prevailing dominion i want you to look at matthew again chapter 17 and i'm reading from verse 20 matthew Chapter 17, reading from verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, All the disciples, all the believers that cared to come near unto him and ask the question, Why? And he said, They said, Why could we not? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, Truly, I say unto you, assuredly, I say unto you, presently, I say unto you, without any shadow of doubt, I say unto you, that if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, unto this mountain, what kind of mountain, Lord? The man had a mountain of demonic attack on the sun. It's the mountain of demons. It's the mountain of disease. It's the mountain of defilement that stands like a mountain that you try to wage war against it and you could not overcome defilement will go tonight disease will go tonight demons will be cast out tonight out of every life in jesus name he said you will say to this mountain what mountain d for disease O oh, is the mountain of oppression the mountain of opposition oppression pressing down your life oppression destroying your life oppression destabilizing your life you almost don't have any heart anymore any kind of courage mind anymore that oppression that's the mountain that's the mountain it been staying there for a long time 
You have cried, you have prayed, you have done everything you wanted to do, but then that mountain of disease, defilement, demons, the mountain remained that the mountain of oppression, the mountain of opposition. Anytime you want to move on, something comes and pushes you back. And every ideal, everything you wanted to do, you could not do. All that mountain of oppression, of opposition, tonight is tonight the lord will deliver you tonight there is the mountain of mischief and mystery mischief and mystery you mean well you want to do well you want to do good you want to make progress but the mischief in the world and the misery that comes in the world will not allow you until you might just give up and say no point you won't give up because tonight will say to that mountain that mountain of mystery in your life and that mountain of mischief in your life if the mischief is coming from you and you could not even help yourself tonight you'll be free the mountain of iniquity and infidelity the mountain of iniquity iniquity so comes upon you it's not only borrowing your hand to do iniquity it possesses your heart possesses your mind possesses your hand and you cannot shake yourself away from infidelity or from iniquity it's a mountain and tonight you're having dominion i have dominion i have dominion and non-essentials you know there are people allow a non-essential matter to break the family the wife said my husband why are you doing like and he said it's a non-essential it's something we can do without if you if you don't have it it doesn't stop your breathing it doesn't stop your sleeping it doesn't stop your brain working it doesn't stop anything in fact if you get rid of it it will bring joy to your family fellowship in your family it will bring understanding in your family but there are people they major on non-essentials in life the major on nothingness and it is that nothingness that non-essential they will defend the non-essential they will fight for a non-essential and then the destiny of their life is cancelled that's the mountain you look at your life and you say really what am i doing with this are you gambling and you gamble and gamble and gamble and it's a non-essential you never get anything you know? you're losing every time and your money is going down the drain by that gambling it's a non-essential it brings it adds nothing to your life and that's why tonight will come and you are going to have dominion i will have dominion i said i will have dominion you'll have dominion in jesus name now infirmities that's the next word the letter there infirmities injustice injury have you noticed in life that you have that injury sometimes there's a sore injury and it remains there for one year for two years at the beginning you were worried at the beginning you try to treat it but now that you have welcomed that injury you have welcomed that injustice you have welcomed that infirmity it's like it's there it's there and it's there forever no tonight that injury will go that wound inside your stomach, that wound on your leg, and that wound in your body, and that wound in your eyes that have been there for a long time and refuse to go. Praise the Lord, you are here tonight. Dominion has come. I said, Dominion has come. Oh, offense. Offense. It's like 
you don't want to offend but the nature inside you it's like everywhere around you there is a magnet that is attracting offense out of your life that's why you can't keep a friend that's why you can't keep your wife that's why you can't keep your husband you offensive it's like odor coming out and it's offensive your language offensive your look offensive your attitude offensive and your interaction offensive offense 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 everywhere and you are concerned you say why is it i offend god i offend man i offend my helpers i offend my co-workers i offend everyone and when i make up my mind i will not offend again something will come upon me and then i offend and the good good things that somebody wanted to do for you in your life they get so offended they said there's no point that's why we're here we're not just saying uh, you know talking about dominion without meaning uh, tonight dominion yeah. i said tonight dominion in every life in jesus name and uh, natural needs and necessities you look at your life you just feel that emptiness that you are not complete that life is not the way it ought to be. you don't know what you don't know why but that natural need natural necessity is always there you feel empty you feel unfulfilled there is a need in your life you cannot even pinpoint tonight the holy ghost will identify that thing and all those mountains tonight all those mountains tonight in your life by faith personal faith the power of grain like faith for prevailing dominion it has come look at that look at that he said if you will say to this mountain remove hands to yonder place it shall remove it shall remove Give me a good alpha location amen. amen sin will vanish away amen. sorrow will vanish away amen. all the imagination and all the expectation of um, suffering because of your sin everything will vanish away the joy of salvation will come to you the peace of salvation will come to you the excitement and the triumph of salvation will come to you in jesus name and then sickness whatever the name sickness what however long it has been there that mountain of sickness tonight as we speak that word I have the assurance inside my heart that today is your day yeah. and that sickness will vanish away yeah. you see that shadow of the evil spirit spying on your life is going for an interview and the shadow of that evil spirit follows you is going is going to ask somebody's hand in marriage and that shadow of evil spirit follows you is going to the market and that shadow of evil spirit follows you and by the time you come back you don't see the shadow but it has scattered everything in your life that shadow that evil spirit tonight i command that shadow get out in jesus name tonight we came for freedom tonight we came for dominion and we're going to have dominion in jesus name number two now we're looking at number two the prayer with great faith for present dominion great faith for present dominion there are people who transfer all dominion to when we get to heaven they say they're sick now they're suffering now they're embarrassed now things are not doing well but anyway i believe that when we get over there over there over there when we get over there there will be victory there'll be overcoming there'll be dominion 
They put all their dominion in the future. Your dominion is at the present hour. The joy of present dominion and the power for present dominion and the prayer we pray. The prayer with great faith for present dominion. I want you to look at Mark chapter 5. Let me back up to Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15, I'm reading from verse 22. Matthew chapter 15, we're looking at verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil look at verse 23 in verse 23 and he answered her not a word that's where some people check out and they go back home we are prayed we said the final amen check up yourself the miracle is there they checked up one second two seconds they didn't see anything they said i will not miss the bus today then they run away but the woman stayed you will stay for your miracle you stay for the manifestation of power. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. Those disciples they didn't have any expectation for that woman. But the man had expectation for herself, by herself. I can tell you a story, but I want tonight, I'll save it for another time. The people that didn't have any expectation for my life. The teachers that didn't have any expectation for my life. The neighbors that didn't have any expectation for my life. If you have expectation for your life, no matter what others say about you, no matter how they even bury you before you are dead, you will come up yeah. and tonight you will come up yeah. don't allow that expectation to die expectation of salvation don't allow it to die expectation of healing don't expect it to die expectation of a new beginning a new life in you don't expect that don't allow that to die the Lord will match your expectation Look at verse 24. In verse 24 there, and he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Even that sentence, if the woman misinterpreted that, the woman could say, okay, he has no miracle for me. He has no attention for me. He has nothing for me. There are people that come to meetings like this. Maybe they came in the morning at the Sunday service and they hear me talking about the narrow path and then the broad way. And then you say, <laughs> looks like this man does not have anything for me. I don't think I will come in the evening, but thank God you are here. I say, thank God you are here. God has something for you. God has something for me misinterpretation of what Christ said where I made the woman to say all right I understand I'm not an Israelite I don't belong I'm not part of the people to get blessing I'm going back home she did not I will not give up I will not give up your life will still be bright again your life will still be better again. Your life will still achieve the purpose for which you are created in Jesus' name. Look at verse 25. In verse 25, then came she and worshipped him. What? But Jesus said, I'm only saying to the Israelites, she said, I understand that. I know it's not that he came for only them he came first for them and I don't mind I can be second he came first for the Jews and secondly he came for the Greeks and I am on the line let him serve 
the first and then second i'm here lord anybody there tonight i'm here lord anybody there tonight i'm here lord then she came and worshipped him saying lord help me you've helped them help me you've helped those jews help me you saved them set me you healed them heal me you lifted them number one me i'm here too i'm here help me the lord will help you tonight look at verse 26 and verse 26 and he answered and said it is not meat it is not right to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs children on one hand dogs on the other hand and jesus said do you have dogs in your home do you have dogs in your environment do you feed the dogs first while the children are hungry you don't do that it's not right to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs well there are many ways you can answer a situation you can say tell me are you calling me a dog are you saying i'm dirty are you saying i'm sinful are you saying i'm defiled are you saying i'm rejected dog what kind of language is that i thought they said preachers should have dignified language understanding uh, accommodating language what kind of language is that dogs all right i'm going back home but the woman did not give up i will not give up i will not give up look at that preacher is he pointed at my direction he said sinner how can he talk like that i've never found a preacher a dignified preacher an enlightened preacher a civilized preacher talking like that and look at look at this preacher he said adulterer adulteress idol worshiper and he pointed and he almost pointed at my forehead how can a preacher talk like that you know if you are finding fault if you go to the hospital and you find fault with the doctor you're not going to get good treatment if you go to school and you find fault with the teacher you're not going to get a good education if you go to your tailor and you find fault with the tailor you're not going to get a good dress anywhere you go you must listen attentively and if they call you by name you know it in your heart and the woman knew that in her heart that she was just as dirty as defiled as uh, demoralized as a dog and so look at the answer verse 27 in verse 27 she said truth lord truth lord i'm a sinner truth lord i'm defiled truth lord am i not why don't worship her truth lord i'm rejected truth lord i don't feed among the children of the kingdom truth lord yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table look at that the woman said i still know you feed the children how jesus christ was anointed of the holy ghost and power and a went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him i know you've been doing that you've given the bread to the children i'm asking for the crumbs don't you have any crumbs left any left over i'm all right with that i'm a dog and i can just pick the one that falls from under the table yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table their master's table the master of the dogs she said lord will you accept me i'm a dog i'm dirty i'm defiled but I'm this spirit, I want to come under your lordship. I want to be a dog 
for you the master look at that if you can just come to the lord tonight and say lord i come i don't want a big title i don't want a big position i just want you to be my lord and to be my master and when you surrender your life to christ as a defiled dog a sinful dog an idolatrous dog a rejected dog and you know it in your heart that that is your life and you say but i still make you my master i make you my lord i make you the controller of my life he will receive you tonight and you will not remain a dog it will save your soul it will transform your life it will change your personality and possibilities will come in your life in jesus name god bless you for that amen now you've got double blessing a woman like that that responded to the lord like that what did jesus say look at verse 28 now in verse 28 jesus answered and said unto her O woman great is thy faith the lord looked away from her filthiness as a dog because of the faith the lord looked away from the defilement of her life because of her faith he didn't say again what a wise dog what a responsive dog what an interesting dog the lord cancelled that nature and that life of the dog away from her that's what the lord will do for you tonight he will forgive your sin and when he forgives he will forget your sin not only that the nature of the sinner he'll take away from you forgiveness will come forgetfulness will come he'll forget everything you had ever done that made you a dog the defilement it will take away the degradation and the shame of the life of a dog it will take that away and then a new life a new life of faith a new life of freedom a new life of a disciple a follower of christ the lord will give you tonight and look at what jesus said oh woman it is a oh dog oh Syrophoenician, phoenician oh greek all that one is gone now she came into the kingdom you will come into the kingdom the power of Christ will move away, will cleanse, will wash all that sinfulness away from your life tonight. Defilement will become something of the past. I didn't hear amen now. Yeah. And all that de de degradation, the shame will be something of the past in your life. A new life, a forgiving life a freed life a life that is now free of any and everything that made you a dog in the past alcohol will vanish away and the crave for alcohol and for things that you smoke that they are not good for the creatures of god all that will vanish away in your life and all the occultism and all the works of darkness the people do and they are defiled spiritually all that will vanish out of your life in jesus name and your membership in the gang the gang of evil doers and the gang of people that do not have their mind centered on righteousness and doing right all that membership and likeness were members of the gang all that will vanish away tonight in jesus name you become a child of god a son of god a daughter of god a follower of christ a person that has new life because you have that great faith oh woman great is thy faith now what did Jesus call great faith? She came faith. 
She stayed faith. She didn't run away because of what Jesus had said. She didn't misinterpret the word of the Lord. Faith. And then she said, truth, Lord. She said, everything you say, I believe, I accept as truth. And when you are like that, that's great faith. That's great faith. It says, come unto me, and you come. That's great faith. It says, call unto me, and then you called unto him. That's great faith. It says, confess your sin and forsake them. You did that. That's great faith. It said, believe that as you call on my name, I will save you. And you accept, and you believe, and you embrace that salvation. That's the great faith. Great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole that very hour. The prayer was great faith for present dominion. She had dominion over the demon, over the disease, over the sin, depressing that daughter. She had dominion. I come to you tonight to tell you that's exactly what you will have. Yeah. All the defilements of your life, all the sins of your life, you will have dominion. Yeah. Disease, you will have dominion. Yeah. Demons, you will have dominions. You go out of here a joyful woman, a joyful man, a joyful boy, a joyful girl because that high expectation you have that made you to stay until Christ said, O oh man, O oh woman, O oh boy, O oh girl, great is thy faith. That expectation will be realized tonight in Jesus' name. I'm coming to point number three now. Point number three, the possibilities of God giving faith for peculiar dominion the possibilities tonight all things are possible in your life look at matthew chapter 19 i'm reading from verse 26 matthew chapter 19 verse 26 and Je but jesus beheld them and said unto them what men this is impossible with men, this is impossible. A man had come to Christ, but he came with his own misconceived ideas. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus told him, but his wealth, his riches, his money had become his God. And he couldn't part with that idol. He couldn't part with the God of wealth and riches. And he went back with sorrow. And then the disciples said, How about this? That a man that had money could not get saved? Jesus said, No. Not a man that had money. A man that money had. Money had him. Not that he possessed money. No. Money possessed him. Money took his heart. And money ruled <clears throat> over him. And because of that, he had money as his God. Money as his possessor. Money as his ruler. Money as his master. He could not be saved. They said, who then can be saved? You can be saved you will be saved that's why he beheld them and said unto them but men this is impossible because they will not give up their idol their god their covetousness and their aspiration and their ambition to follow the lord but he said but with god all things are possible I know that tonight your salvation is possible. Yeah. With God, all things are possible. I know tonight your healing is possible. Yeah. 
your deliverance is possible your miracle is possible with men this is impossible if you don't hold to anything and don't make a natural thing a tangible thing a physical thing your god you don't allow anything to possess you and you say christ i come that woman sin partner will not so possess you that you cannot save you cannot get yourself out and repent that alcohol will not be your god possessing you dominating you that you cannot come to christ if you will let go and let god and say i want god above all things i want christ above all things i want my salvation above all things and i leave all those things and i come to christ tonight your salvation will be instantaneous in jesus name and then when it comes to healing heaven will smile at you they will heal you no matter how far gone you have been your healing is a possibility tonight in jesus name look at the faith we're talking about the grain of mustard seed faith that makes you to say to this mountain and to have dominion over this mountain and you say go it will go tonight everything that attaches itself to you hindering you from making progress and you become like an unfinished project you say go tonight everything will vanish away and then the great faith that will stay that will abide that will say lord be my master and be my lord i have been a dog i've been dirty i've been defiled i come for cleansing i want you to make me one of your own children tonight your salvation and sonship will come in jesus name and then the god giving faith that makes all things possible in your life tonight that god given faith will walk in your life everyone here tonight nobody should go away from here without having connection with christ that will bring this salvation to your life it's about and eyes closed it's about and eyes closed already the lord has spoken to you in particular don't look here and there what are other people saying what are other people doing the lord came to you direct today speaking to you and he wants to forgive all your sin all your defilement everything that makes you a spiritual dog the lord wants to take that away from your life tonight heads bowed and eyes closed as you are responding to the lord tonight raise up that hand very quickly say lord i am here i need salvation lord i am here i want your cleansing lord i am here i want a change in my heart a change in my soul a change in my spirit a change in my character all the things that brought defilement into my life lord i give up tonight i see that's what has been hindering me that i'm like an unfinished project unfulfilled project lord tonight i come raise up that hand raise up that hand god bless you there god bless you there. thank you very much dear thank you very much dear god bless you the lord has seen you why don't you stand up so you can stand up and stand up for jesus those who are raising up their hand thank you god bless god bless god bless you there stand up right now and say lord i come thank you thank you stand up and say lord i come lord i come and i will not leave without this cleansing and without this forgiveness and without this salvation stand up stand up stand up i uh, don't make it another day you see that man with great faith she stayed there and she said truth lord and the lord did the work in her heart in her home in her daughter and the lord 
will do it in your life tonight. Where are you? Where are you? Raise up your hand and stand up. As you are standing up, tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I leave the past and I come to you now to be my Savior, to be my Lord. I leave everything that made me a dirty, shameless dog in the past. And now I come, I come away from my sin. I come away from my evil. And I come to Christ. Idolatry never again. Evil never again. Drunkenness never again. Smoking never again. I abandon them. I jettison them. And I say, get out of my life. I give myself now to Christ unreservedly raise up your hand and stand up i'm praying for you now father in the name of jesus we look up to you now everyone that has accepted your word embraced your word believe your word forgive them in jesus name i pray lord new life will come to them assurance of forgiveness will come to them and i pray the power to have righteous life possible in their lives grant unto everyone in jesus name we thank you lord for the answer let there be joy of salvation the victory of salvation the peace of salvation and lord i pray all those sins you are forgiven will not come back to dominate their lives anymore in jesus name i pray amen keep on standing i can't still as well get to you there and uh, you know help you to feel uh, that form and then i'll come back every demonic power every disease tonight will be cancelled in your life in jesus name amen yeah. amen we'll call on our pastor to help us uh, with this uh, counseling time Congratulations for accepting the forgiveness of the Lord, for yielding yourself to cross over from sinfulness unto righteousness, from darkness to light. You have made the greatest decision that anybody could make on earth. To give all the necessary information, the very correct name by which you are known. your telephone number and your address those who can write the usher, the, the counselors should please allow them to write and it's not all this is not limited to this alpha location all over wherever people are gathered together for this program within nigeria in africa in europe in america in australia in asia let the same exercise go on as many as have yielded themselves to the lord jesus christ submit your names submit your addresses so that you can receive further help so that you will remain established in this present dominion that god has conferred on you and i hope nobody is trying to go home yet remember you said you'll be the first to give testimony tonight and really when we call for testimony we should be having serious challenge to sort things out there because testimony for all but for now let's settle this business as you yield yourself unto the lord I, only, I hope the movement I see, uh, just the movements of the counselors. Don't forget about that woman. She came. She waited. And everything said about her, she believed. She got her dominion. And let's be very fast with the exercise as we deal with the adults let's deal with the children also every soul 
is precious before the Lord. Those who cannot write quickly or who cannot write at all, patiently assist them. If you got connected through radio and television, you can send your message or details, the name, your phone number, to this WhatsApp number. Plus 234-905-915-444-92. Six three, the number again, please. Plus two three four. Nine one five. Four four four. Nine two, six three. Uh, if you look at the screen, you will see that number. The number again. Plus two three four. Nine one five. Four 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 nine two six three. Oh, our pastor is very happy that you took this decision tonight in giving your life to Christ, and he wants to follow you up personally. Join us online for connect with Christ. Look at it on the screen. Connect with Christ. On Sunday, 8th May. That's just next week, Sunday. In our bell quota here, those of us who are here in Alpha location here, just as we told you every day until Tuesday, we'll be meeting in Edwin Hall, just across the road on my right hand side there. Prepare for another bountiful banquet time on Sunday the 8th. This one is not online. Physically, we'll be there together by 4 p.m. 4 p.m. on Sunday. That's 8th of May. Let's be quick. Once we finish, let's, let's indicate that we are finished at the far back. If you are finished, let's know. Don't forget, tonight is a night of dominion. I can see many of you already praying and trusting God. If you have not been praying, why not pray? You must go home. You must, you must have testimony tonight. I hope you've not forgotten. Remember, you promised me, and it was a deal, that you will give the first testimony tonight. I'm waiting for that. And our Father and the Lord, our pastor, is also waiting for that because he knew you made your promise. So, as you are praying and waiting, tonight is your night. Actually, I expect the counselors to still stay around with the people. So that you assist them when the power of God descends on them and the miracle appears. Jesus is passing this way, is there with you. Don't miss its visitation tonight. Dominion for you. Over everything that had had dominion over you. It's now your turn. It's now your time to receive and exercise dominion over all that have been against you. Those diseases, those difficulties, those demons, and all the oppressions, all the mischiefs of the devil against you. It's time for you to rise above them. 
Oh. Uh, Father, the Lord is already standing up. Please give me the signal if you are finished. In your reverse section, can you wave? Can you wave that you are through with the. Yeah. Okay. All right. God bless you. Get ready for your dominion. Let's rise up on our feet. Let's rise up on our feet. You are literally receiving your dominion now. Get ready. Amen. I rejoice with you. Miracle. Healing. Deliverance. You have waited until this time. And the Lord has been waiting for you. And as we're praying now. And you connect. With the prayer. And believe. That the Lord. Is setting you free now. Your healing will be immediate. You lay your hand where you have the challenge, the sickness, the disease, the affliction, the attack, the infirmity, anywhere. Then you raise up the other hand. And when we pray, the Lord already knows you are there. And he knows the problem that brought you here. When you hear the amen, that means so let it be, so it is. You check up, you find your miracle there. Yeah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, yeah. we know that you are a God that cannot fail. You invited us and you said call unto me. All ye that labor, I am believing, call unto me, all the ends of the earth, and be saved, and be healed, and be delivered. We're asking, O oh Lord, your deliverance will come to everyone right now in Jesus' name. You are the God of all flesh, and you have assured us there is nothing too hard for you. And I bring everyone with their sickness, with their disease, with their infirmity, with their affliction. I bring everyone before you now. Touch them, heal them in Jesus' name. Every power of evil, every power of demon, every power of Satan, I cancel out of their lives. Those evil powers, evil spirits, afflicting demons, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that those who have definite, definite ailments, you touch them now. Those blind eyes, touch them, open their eyes in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf, those who are dumb, touch them now. Open their deaf ears and loose their dumb tongues immediately now in Jesus' name. Those who have any affliction they carry inside them, in their kidney, in their lungs, in any part of their body, in their heart. Lord, I pray, heal them now by your mighty power in Jesus' name. Amen. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Tuberculosis, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Respiratory problem be healed in Jesus' name. And those who have the blood that is not serving them well, whatever they are, red, white, corpuscles, Lord, I pray that you purify and purge their blood system, everything to be healed now in Jesus' name. And those who have issue of blood, I command that issue of blood will stop now in Jesus' name. Those who have long-standing, terminal, incurable disease, Lord, with your mighty power, touch them and heal them right now. Short leg, grow out in Jesus' name. With that hand, be made whole in Jesus' name. Arthritis, be healed in Jesus' name. Paralysis, lameness, stroke, be healed in Jesus' name. Anywhere, everywhere you have any challenge, the touch of the Lord comes upon you right now. 
be healed. Be healed. You are healed in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you because we know it is done. It is confirmed. Manifestation everywhere. In Jesus' name I pray. It is done. I said it is done. Check up yourself. You see the miracle is there.